Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cardiac Wire show. My name is Jake Fishman. I'm the host of the show and the editor of the Cardiac Wire. And I'm very happy to have Tara Martris from Intellarad on the show with us today. Uh, Tara leads the cardiology group within Intellarad and has a really great background and is up to some really interesting stuff uh, within Intellarad. And I'm happy to have her on the show. Tara, welcome. Thank you, Jake. So it's, it's really good to have you here. Um, maybe to start us off, I, I mentioned a little bit about about your your history and then also what you're working on now. Maybe you can kind of give us a, a quick background and into you know what you're working on and what brought you here. Absolutely. So I'm actually, uh, interestingly enough, I started out as a radiographer and from there moved into echocardiography for quite a few years. Uh, once I tackled that and got that under my belt, I decided to try my hand at the private sector. I moved into working with a company that actually uh, provided ultrasound equipment and did clinical apps for that. And then at that same time, they had been working with a, a smaller subset of uh, clients that needed a PAC system for OBGYN clinics. And so I got involved in that area did that for about seven years and then had an opportunity to move into Intellarad, started as an account manager of all things, uh, worked with some clients for a couple of years, moved into project management. From there, I moved into product uh, management, was able to work with our dev teams a little bit as well through that. And uh, then last year was able to move into a directorship of product for the cardiology division. And now I uh, have the new challenge of heading up the division itself. So it's been an interesting career uh, for me so far, and I'm looking forward to this new challenge. How great. And um, I, what a great like group of, um, I guess, different roles and experiences to, to allow you to, you know, to lead uh, cardiology within Telerad. Um, I think those roles that, you know, start off on the clinical side, you can really have some some real empathy to help drive that that product vision. I actually feel that it, it has given me quite an interesting perspective on things, and it allows me really to understand what our clients are actually needing. But not only that, but even in the day to day, if there are issues, I understand how those issues are impacting them. So I have a better way of making sure that we're meeting their needs. So speaking of. Um meeting your clients' needs. Maybe you can give us uh, an idea of Intellarad's cardiology direction. Absolutely. Um, it's been an interesting thing because for Intellarad, you know, historically, we've been really focused on radiology and about three years ago decided that we really needed to start looking from an enterprise perspective. We really needed to start looking at cardiology and having some uh, cardiology, uh, supporting some cardiovascular clinical workflows. And so with that, we went into an acquisition mode where we acquired three different product lines. Uh, those product lines, one was uh, Digisonics, which does cardiology, but also focuses on OBGYN clinical workflows. We had Lumetics, which was a full CVIS system, so really cardiology focused. And then we also had Hard IT, that was a zero footprint um, solution, but really focused more on cardiac, MR, and CT. And so having gone through that, those acquisitions and looking at what is the best of those and also, not only what is the best of that, on the other side is what is the worst of that, of uh, those solutions, right? Because we want to make sure that as we move forward, we're pulling in the best of rather than, you know, and understanding where have we failed in other areas. And so that's really what our focus is right now, is bringing those solutions together and providing our clients with the best solution, taking the value that we have in all of those three uh, different product lines and bringing them into one. So cool because I remember each of those acquisitions and covering them, I guess, back at the time in the imaging wire and seeing this, um, I guess, part of your business business take shape. And it's it's so cool uh, to see it, I guess, at this point now where you're putting together a best of breed uh, offering. 
It really is. And it's so exciting because as we're talking to clients and part of this is not just us coming up with this idea, right? What we really want to do is collaborate with our clients, talk to our clients, really understand what it is that they like about our product, what it is that they don't like about our products, and really weave that in into our roadmap to make sure that we are actually providing something that clients can enjoy using. And so that's part of the, that's what's the most exciting for me is actually being able to interact with our clients and build and build in those types of things into our roadmap. When you, when you do have those client conversations, are there certain, I guess, obstacles that you see that they're commonly facing that you're specifically looking to target? I think one of the things that we look at, um, and, you know, cardiology itself is a very data driven science. Um, it's something that, you know, when you look at any of our cardiology clients, most of them use are part of registries. A lot of them are looking at using EMR data. And so what we're really seeing is that we're not leveraging data as best as we can. And so what we're looking at doing from the future perspective is really being able to gather the data, which we are able to do now, but use it in a better way and use it throughout the clinical workflow rather than just using it at the end in analytics solution is really bringing that data forward and having access to it as we are going through the clinical workflow piece. Right. So I'm curious. So one of the, I guess, more exciting areas of across all of imaging, but definitely in cardiology too, is, is AI. And I'm curious how you envision AI um, kind of playing a role in solving these problems and, and bringing kind of the next level outcomes within cardiology. I really feel, you know, like as we're looking at AI, I think most of us and most vendors in the market itself is really looking at AI to be able to improve efficiency, get the efficiency gains in our workflows. How can we automate things? But I really feel on top of that, one of the things that we can use AI in is how can we leverage AI to be more proactive about um, how we are treating our patients. Is there a way that AI can, is there a, a role AI can play in actually um, diagnosing something earlier? Patient comes in for one thing, but maybe there are other things that can be taken from that study. Can we bring that up and can we use AI in a better way to be proactive? So those are those are some of the things that I'm really looking um, forward to seeing and being able to establish in our solutions as well, is to see how can we leverage AI not only to be efficient, but also help in the patient outcomes and patient care. That makes two of us, or probably many of us, uh, looking forward to that. Um, I guess when we look maybe a little bit shorter term, just into the just the immediate this year, 2024, um, what can we expect from Intellirad Cardiology just in this uh, in 2024? So what we're really looking at is really driving our vision. Uh, we now know what our strategy is. We now know what the value is of each of those acquisitions, as I had mentioned earlier. So what we're really starting to do is build that out. And you're going to be seeing a lot of um, emphasis put on a cloud native solution, on zero footprint, on making sure we can take care of some of the tech debt that is uh, allowing, that is not allowing us to be as stable as we'd like. So those are all things that are in our roadmap that we want to tackle in this year. Got it. Um, okay. So one thing you mentioned early on, which caught my, caught my ear and it's something that obviously that the industry has been looking at is that convergence of radiology and cardiology within enterprise imaging. And you know, different health systems are at different stages of this, including like not started yet stage. Um, how do you view the folks who are doing it right? What are the keys to doing it right? I think one of the things, and I, I, I touched a little bit about this on, on the data side, right? What's happened in, in the past was that radiology workflows were very siloed compared to the cardiology workflows. And data sharing between the two was not obvious or not even done or not even taken into account. And I think that's one thing that we're seeing from an enterprise perspective. And when we look at how, from enterprise solution perspective, sharing that data, having access to that data, having access to the studies, provide a lot more insight, not only on the cardiology side, but also on the radiology side. And so that I think is having access to the data on both sides. That is where we need to go towards. Right. Yeah, that makes, that makes total sense. Um, and thank you for sharing all this. It's really, it's cool to see it all come together. And I'm, I'm happy for you in this role to, to, you know, 
to bring it together and bring it out to all of your clients and their patients. Um, so, so thank you for joining me, Tara. Uh, good luck for this year. I think it's going to be a really good one. And, uh, and thanks for all the, the viewers for, for tuning in. Um, if you are looking to update your, your cardiology IT stack and imaging stack, um, reach out to Tara and her colleagues. It seems like they have some really good options that are put together in a, you know, overall package that they're putting together for you. And, uh, Take care until next time. Thank you, Jake, for having me. Thanks for coming on. Bye-bye.